So I finally got a chance to go see Dragon Ball Super Gohan in theaters. And as a child growing up, Dragon Ball Z was my shit. Um, you know, I used to command man in the backyard, but was the movie good? Let's talk about it. Should've keep blessing your cheeks, cheeks. Like yeet, 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 yeet. Naruto, you's a bitch. And not a play in you. Nintendo Switch, yeah. Welcome back to Strong Arm Flicks. I'm your boy T Flame. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe for more content. You can also follow me on Twitter and on Vero at T Flame G. So today, guys, we are talking about none other than Dragon Ball Super Gohan. And let me tell you, it took me a little long to go see this in theaters. Um, you know, just all the time that it, it takes from me uh, going to work and trying to make time for my streams, trying to make juggle time with my family. It's just a lot. But, you know, I finally went to see this movie. And let me tell you, it's everything that is cracked up to be and more. And I mean it. I mean, this is the first Dragon Ball Z Dragon Ball Super, whatever the hell, Dragon Ball period movie that I've seen where this has got a super coherent written out story that plays out like a real fucking movie. It builds on the things that make sense in the universe. Um, they're going back strong with their Dragon Ball roots, but also going back to Dragon Ball Z with the Piccolo and Gohan early on relationship. Piccolo has always been like a father figure or, a, or a slash mentor to Gohan. Um, the uncle you've never had and all that shit. Piccolo's even sacrificed his life for Gohan before at one point or another. And in this movie, we finally get to see Gohan and Piccolo shine again because as the god powers were awakened in Goku and Vegeta, somewhere along the line, they just completely left like 90% of the cast of the Dragon Ball Z franchise in the fucking dust. And yes, even Gohan fell victim to this massive power gap. And because of that, we really haven't seen Gohan really uh t you know get back on that level that he once was he really hasn't had a lot of screen time and when he has there really hasn't been much for him to do but in this movie uh you know it starts off spoilers ahead uh light spoilers uh you know the movie starts off and it goes back to the red ribbon uh roots from dragon ball and it shows uh you know it, it, what they're up to nowadays it touches on dr Giro and the roots of of how you know what he had going on behind the scenes and the cell games and it goes into that organization they find out that he has a relative and again, the pacing of this movie is excellent. It's a little bit long on the long side, but it is worth every second of it. it. Like, again, you know, there's always been a complaint since back in the day that, you know, that either uh, Dragon Ball Z had too much action over and over again, and the bits of talking pieces um, didn't flow smooth. They didn't go together, and it would just be on and on for dramatic effect back in the old school days in the 90s. Well, let me tell you, they have fixed that with Super, obviously, in general, but they really went in hard. I'm just, I, I'm a astounded by the pacing of this movie and how every second of it um you know i was just completely into it um you know the, of course and there's also some bits of comedy in there um we've got bulma going back to her uh dragon ball uh promiscuous roots a little bit in this movie <laughs> a couple of funny things uh, a couple of jokes and some things to do with her with, with Bulma's ass, <laughs> but, um, yeah, when you, you'll have to, that one, you'll have to watch to see what I'm talking about, <laughs> but, um, you know, it's just, it's, it's, you know, this movie, it, you know, Piccolo's doing some heavy investigating, uh, you know, he, he, he's flying around, he thinks there's a threat, he's, he's irritated that Gohan has been weak for so long and not taking his training serious, and, and lo and behold, you know, he's, he has a conversation with him about, you know, what if a threat shows up, what the fuck are we gonna do, is basically his point. And lo and behold, um, in the background, they show while this there's two different stories going on at one time. They show like how there's actually a serious threat rising, uh, in the to power in the background. Um, of, you know, uh, there, there's new. We get to get introduced to some new androids. Um, we we get to see uh, uh, Gohan's uh, Pan, a different uh, this version of Pan. I actually like. They actually thought her character out. She's much younger in here than than in Dragon Ball Dragon Ball GT, um, and much more likable. Piccolo finally unlocks a new form, and he is strong as hell. I mean, strong as hell. This new form is dope. It makes sense. It was well thought out, and, you know, it's about time, and I, I'm serious when I'm telling you that I think Piccolo might be able to hang hang in there, not go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, but he might be able to hang in there now with Goku and Vegeta, and that's dope as fuck. It's over 9,000! What? 9,000?! The action is next level. Um, the, the the change in animation um, uh, really kind of threw me off in this movie. Um, I thought that they hit 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 the uh, 
hit the nail uh, right on the head um, with the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie. That was fucking phenomenal. Mwah. Chef's kiss. That that movie just nailed the animation um, on the next level. They kind of chose to go more of it looks more kind of like a, 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 a PS5 video game. Um, you know, with the animation that they chose to go with. Still looks very clean. It takes a little bit to get used to, but the movie was phenomenal overall. And at the end, we get to see Gohan and his new form, and it is fucking glorious. Uh, and it is called Beast Gohan. And look at this shit. Wow. I mean, the power scale. This is crazy. Gohan uh, could be fucking stronger than, than Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan fucking Goku, and Vegeta. I don't even know if Ultra Instinct holds a candle to this shit. But um, yeah, man, I, if you guys haven't seen this movie, go check it out. Uh, Dragon Ball Super Gohan went hard as fuck. Um, I give it a, a, nine, a 9 out of 10. And um, I only give it a 9 out of 10 because I wanted to see more of, of Super Gohan in his final form, and his beast mode form, as Akira Toriyama says. Um, but, uh, yeah, you'll go see it. If you haven't seen it, it's worth every minute. But, um, that's all I have for you guys today. Till next time, my friends. Peace. Should've keep blessing your cheeks. Cheeks. Like, yeet, 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 yeet. Naruto. Use a bitch.